So our farm animal craft today is going to be a cute little dairy cow puppet eating some grass, okay? Super easy peasy and he's really fun. And you could even make one or two and then you could do a little puppet show. Ooh. So what we need for this craft is we need a piece of white paper, a piece of pink paper, some crayons or some pencil crayons. We need green paper, scissors, glue, and if you have a popsicle stick, that would be awesome. But if you don't, you could use a stick from the backyard or you could even use a pen and just tape it onto the back. Okay, I'll give you a second to get all of your materials ready and then we'll get started. So I had a few pieces of cut up green paper from a craft that we did before. So I am using up those pieces instead of cutting up a new piece of paper. So if you have a green piece of paper, you're gonna have to cut little strips, okay? And you know how to do that. We've practiced it before. Then we have our other paper right here, okay? If you don't have green paper, you could color a piece of white paper, some green, and then cut strips out of it, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do the grass first. So he's eating some grass, right? Cows love to eat grass. But grass, <clears throat> we're gonna make it kind of crunched up. You see how it's crunched up in his mouth? Because it doesn't stay straight, right? It gets all crunchy. So this is how we do it. We're gonna fold our paper back and forth and kind of make a, like a fan, okay? So I'm gonna take my piece of paper and I'm gonna fold it that way. See how I just pinched it down? Oops, there, I pinched it down. I'm gonna pinch where I folded and I'm gonna fold the other way. So I'm gonna go back and pinch it behind. Now I'm gonna go forward, fold it in front. See how it's getting smaller and it's getting like stairs. So I'm gonna pinch what I folded and go back, pinch, and look, you can do it this way too. If you pinch it and just go pinch, and then the other side, pinch. So there's a couple different ways you can fold the paper. And then we have this cool zigzaggy shape, just like that. So I'll show you that again up close, okay? So I have my piece of paper. So I can go forward, backward, forward, backwards. Or you can hold it and go pinch, other side pinch, other side pinch. You can try both ways. So we're gonna need, I would say, about four or five of these pieces, okay? So backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Forward, backward. Forward, backward. Hi, Lucy. Forward, backward, and one more. Lucy likes to eat grass. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Forward, back, oh, hi, Lucy. For get going. Forward, back. Forward, back. Come here, Goose. Okay, so now we'll put our grass to the side and we will get started on our dairy cow. So, I have my white piece of paper and we are going to do his head with our white piece of paper. So, with my pencil, I'm going to draw So before I start, we only need about half of this paper for his head. 
So I'm gonna fold my paper in half. We take the bottom, bring it up to the top, that corner matches, that corner matches, your helper hand holds it down, and we fold our paper, perfect. Now, I'm going to cut my paper in half. And we can save this other piece of paper, maybe for another cow puppet or for a different craft later on. We don't wanna waste it. So I have my half piece of paper and what we're gonna do first is we're going to draw his forehead. So we need a sort of a rainbow shape. So we're gonna start about in the middle of our paper and do a rainbow. So we're gonna start here and end here. You can even draw little dots if that's gonna help you. So we're gonna go rainbow, big curve. There we go, perfect. So there's his forehead. Now you make sure that, you can't see very well, can you? Let's see if I can make it better. that's a little bit better. So as I was saying you want to make sure that you leave enough space on either side of your rainbow for his ears okay. So from the bottom of his forehead we're gonna do a curve up and then a curve down. There's one ear we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna do Lucy. We're gonna do a big curve up and a big curve down. So they're not totally even, that's okay. I can use my pencil and make it a little bit bigger if I want to. There, that's a bit better. Perfect, so now I can do another little rainbow, upside down rainbow at the bottom. This piece you're not gonna see because it's gonna be glued under our nose here. So perfect, there's our cow head. You just do your very best job, okay? And we're gonna cut it out. So my helping hand is moving my paper for me. And my cutting hand stays in the same spot with my thumb going up and down towards the, towards the roof. There, now look at that. We have a cow head. How awesome is that? Now it's time to do our nose. So I have my pink piece of paper here and we're gonna do the same thing. We only need half of this paper. So we're going to fold it. So take the bottom, Fold it up to the top, make sure the corners match up together, helping hand holds down, and we fold it. Now we're gonna cut. There we go. Now we're going to draw an oval shape, okay? so. Just like we did a rainbow for the top of our cow head, that's sort of the same shape we're going to do for our nose too. We're gonna to do an oval. So I'm gonna start on the side and we're gonna do a curve, a rainbow curve, and then go back down and do a rainbow curve on the bottom. Perfect. And there's our nose, that's our oval shape. So now we're gonna cut out our cow nose. Okay, there we go. Now it's pretty big. That's a pretty big cow nose, but I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's too big or too small it's just for fun so 
I have a couple jobs left to do. We need to glue our nose onto our cow head. So let's get out our glue. I'm gonna put glue on the bottom, oops, on the bottom of his head here. And that's where my nose gets glued on. Holy, that's a big nose. <laughs> that's funny, I bet he could smell really, really good. So a dairy cow has black spots on it. So let's give our dairy cow some spots and some eyes. I'm gonna give him a funny spot on his ear here. I'm gonna put this piece of paper I used under my tape under my paper so I don't draw on my table. It's always a good idea. one spot I think I'm gonna draw his eyes so one circle and two circles you can draw another little black circle inside for his pupils very good now I'm gonna do a spot around his eye just like on the example here's a spot around his eye and maybe one more spot over here. There we go. You can do as many spots on your cow as you want to. It's up to you. I did one, two, three. There. Now he needs two big circles on his nose for nostrils. That's where he breathes air from, just like us. Now we need to give him some grass because I think he is hungry. Hungry, hungry for some grass. So I've got my glue and I've got my grass pieces from before. So I'm just going to do one to start here. So put a little bit of glue on his nose right where his mouth would be and just push down there. Now put some more glue on top. Add another piece of grass going the other way. Look, I kind of made an X. Now I'm gonna put glue on top again. We're just making a pile of grass. This time I'm gonna go straight across. Again, glue on top. And grass goes down one more time. There, that's a lot of grass in his mouth. He's gonna be super full. So Miss Morrow doesn't have any popsicle sticks at home. So I'm gonna use a handy dandy pencil I'm going to flip my cow over, put my pencil right there, and just use a piece of tape. Oh, hello, kindergarten. I hope you're drinking lots of milk and cheese and staying healthy. I moose you. <laughs> I hope you had as much fun as I did making this cute little cow puppet. Mwah! See you later.